Also, don't forget the Chalupa Chin. Oh <laughs> yes, bitch. Chalupa that shit. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be getting into a full on first impression of the newest launch from Too Faced. This is their new Born This Way matte foundation. And I did only pick this up in one shade. I have it in the shade Porcelain and I haven't looked at it yet. So like <laughs> here's hoping everything works out. But uh, we're going to be getting into this doing again a full day wear test. This is my first impression. I'd like to really sit down with you guys and go through, you know, not only the claims and what it says on the website, on the box, the pricing, all of that, but I also really like to show you guys, you know, the formulation, how it spreads on the skin, the coverage, um, all of those things, because I just feel like, to me, especially with foundation, I feel like the first impression and the first go with it is so important. So uh, we're going to be sitting down doing that today, and of course, we're testing it and all the good things. Now, before we get going into the foundation, okay, let's just pause really quickly, per usual, okay, um, because we just, we're going to talk about it, guys. Like I said, we are never going to stop. So number one, if you are new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know who I am, I want to stop and introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And again, if it's your first time here or you just haven't subscribed yet, I would please invite you to do that. Um, it's listed down below. Obviously, you can subscribe and hit the bell. I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up usually around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then on to the other issue, you guys, the issue of grave importance in my life. I need you to go down to the description box. It says follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, okay? Um, Twitter, I'm not as active on Twitter, but Instagram is my thing, you guys. I have been loving it. It is so much fun. I just enjoy so much of what is on Instagram. I love the content I've been putting up, um, which is a lot of like makeup content. I do a lot of funny stuff. I love to unbox things during the day and in my Insta stories. Um, I love plus size fashion. And I just overall, I just love the community aspect that is over on Instagram. And oh my God, is that a tractor? <sighs> Yep, that's definitely a tractor. For anyone that's new here, you might not know, I'm like surrounded, I live in like Tractortopia, and I'm surrounded by, you know, haying and cornfields, and in all the fields, all the fields that require the biggest, baddest tractors, okay? That's where your girl lives, just right, right in the middle of them, and uh, it's really loud, and it's really irritating, and you'll hear me bitch about it quite frequently. Um, again, for those of you that are new here, welcome to Northern Michigan. You know what, guys? You know what I'm not gonna do? Uh oh, oh no, <laughs> absolutely not, okay? I'm not gonna let this guy, this person, this human being, whoever it is, this tractor man, he's not gonna get in the way <laughs> of me saying, y'all, please go down and, and follow me on Instagram. That way I can get the swipe up feature because that's really what this is about. And nothing, no no one, no one's gonna get in the way of that. So please go down there, follow me on Instagram. And while we're on the topic, like in all seriousness, I just wanna give you guys a huge shout out. Those of you that have already went, you've followed me over there, you started interacting, you've been hanging out in my Insta stories. Um, hell, those of you that didn't have an Instagram, but you literally went and created one just for me. Like, thank you so much from the bottom <laughs> of my heart. I can't tell you how much it means. But anyways, you guys, I've already been doing this intro for what feels like a half hour between me talking, me stuttering, and the tractors outside. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shut my little pie hole. I'm just going to shut it right up. And uh, we're going to zoom the camera in and we're going to get started. All right, you guys. So I'm good. I'm zoomed in. And now we're going to go ahead and start diving in to some information about today's foundation, which as I already mentioned, is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. And all of the information that I have, I am currently reading from their website. And it says on here that this is a $40 foundation. You get one full fluid ounce. And in the description, it says that this is an oil-free 24-hour matte foundation. And it diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Skin. True matte formula stays completely color true. <laughs> That'll be a good claim because uh, things love to oxidize on my face. Like, I don't know what it is, but they hit my face and just poof, a different color. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll obviously give it in a fair shake here, um, which, by the way, while I was off of camera, I probably should have mentioned this. I did go ahead and prime with a little bit of my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. Um, I, I like to prime off of camera and give it a chance to soak in before I go in with foundation just to make sure everything is neutral. And then down in there, what else you need to know section, it says Born This Way Matte is available in 35 flawless shades, one for every skin tone. Feel confident in this oil-free, waterproof, life-proof formula. Like the entire Born This Way collection, the new Born This Way matte is infused with skin-loving hyaluronic acid, alpine rose, and coconut water. Okay, that, that's good to know because a lot of you um, have actually mentioned to me that you are sensitive to coconut, anything coconut. You just don't like having it. Um, e either you don't like it, your skin doesn't like it, some combination therein. So definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, so at this point, I think we've done enough investigating, enough reading. So let's go ahead 
ahead and get into the actual foundation. This is the bottle right here, the packaging and the component, um, which is actually just like a larger version of their foundation. This is their multi-sculpting, multi-use concealer. And oh my God, which also, holy cow, like the uh, the comparison in um, the color is actually hilarious. Fun fact, by the way, about the color of this, I actually chose the shade Porcelain because it was a little bit darker. And I feel like for some, like somehow some magical thing happened during the summer and I actually got like a little glowy. My skin got a little bit of color to it. So I did go in like purposely with a shade that I thought would be a freckle darker. Um, I mean, we're definitely gonna see if maybe I overshot the runway, but uh, the shade is Porcelain and we're gonna start off by applying a couple pumps here just on a sponge. And this is actually a Kaleido sponge, which they did send to me um, in PR and I've actually been using it a ton. I really, really like it. But I'm just gonna go in. I think I took about a pump, maybe a little bit more than that. We're gonna start by covering this half of the face. Ooh, that actually applied really quickly. Um, it's definitely, definitely a little bit more yellow than um, I am, but that's that's okay. I think we can we can still work with this. I think what I want to do from here is I'm actually going to leave this side alone, and I want to switch over really quickly to a brush, um, just so I can see if maybe you get more instant coverage with a brush than you do with a sponge. So I'm just gonna take here. This is a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. And I'm gonna take just a little bit here again, about a pump-ish, and start working that in on this side. Ooh, wow, when you when you put it quite like that, Paige, boy, does that undertone look way off on you, okay. Okay, so in terms of application, I actually do like it with a brush. I think that it, it went on nice. I didn't try to build anything up at this point, but I do like the way that it smooths over the skin. I didn't have any like dragging or catching or anything like that in terms of how it applied to the skin. So for me, I mean, I think you could do it either way. I do kind of like, um, I kind of like the brush side in terms of like just the first application, but I also like the sponge because I like that it's a little bit more pressed over like my my raised um, texture areas, which are right through here. So I think if it were me, I'm actually gonna try this. Um, I'm gonna build it up a little bit. I'm gonna take just one more pump here on a sponge because I do wanna see if I can build up the coverage. And this will be kind of a, a telling tale for me because I have to be able to, regardless of what medium it is, I have to be able to build up the coverage if I want, you know, a little bit more. Maybe I'm a little bit redder on some days. So I'm just gonna take here, I'm only building it up on the brush side right now. And you know what? It actually does build up really nicely with a brush. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Like texturally speaking, it looks really beautiful on the skin. Even right through here, I feel like I'm getting a beautiful amount of coverage. I think even on camera, it looks pretty nice. Um, so at this point, I would say that we're building up to, I would say like a nice medium to full coverage. It looks flawless right through there. And on the other side, I'm trying to lean back so I can get in the light, but on the other side, I just took one more pump on the sponge just to get it applied um, and, and see if maybe we can build up the coverage on that side as well. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I brought you in super close. Obviously, we're here, we're gonna look at the foundation and all of that, but like really quickly, does anybody else have ears that they just turn so pink, like so red so quickly? Like, what is this? Why are they so freaking red? Like they're not, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Like they're not gonna fall off my head. Well, I mean, at least I hope they're not gonna fall off my head, uh, but they just look like these little damn, like little strawberries on the side of my fist. And I don't like it. I don't know why. I don't know why they're so red. Anyways, moral of the story here, foundation, this is how it's looking up close, texture, coverage, all the good things. Now for me, I think it looks nice. I think application was good. I don't have any issues with those things so much, but I am noticing and just something I really wanna mention because if you're a texture person like me, I can feel like a, like a slight tightness on this, especially up and around like my eyes, my little crow's feet right up here. Um, I can definitely feel like that the mattified, the dry down of it. I can, I can feel it on my skin and in a matte foundation. Okay. I'm not upset, which, oh, actually, you know what? Speaking of, because this is matte, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other products. So that way I don't get like all dried and weird. Um, so for concealer, I'm going to use my born this way, a multi-sculpting concealer, which by the way, this is in the shade Swan. And I'm going to take just a little bit here. I want to sculpt out the jawline just a little bit. Oh my God, you guys, I just went to blend that out like I did, you know, the jawline, all that. And can you see right up here? I just tried to blend out that little bit of concealer and it literally lifted. I don't know how well you can see it, but it lifted like all through here 
because the foundation must have already like dried down completely. <gasps> oh, this is a problem, you guys. This is gonna be a huge problem. Okay, um, well, first of all, let's go ahead and we're just gonna blend out the under eyes. I guess, you know, this kind of all settles back to literally what I was about to just talk about in terms of the matte consistency and the dry down. I don't care if I can like feel it drying down slightly. Like I don't love it, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Oh my God, can, oh, it did it everywhere. Can you guys see that? Like it did it on the concealer side right here. It did it here. And look at my nose. <laughs> There's literally a stripe where the concealer was. Oh, that. That's a big no-no. All right, you guys, so here's what we're gonna do, all right? As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, first impressions are very important to me. I love doing them, and right now I'm not getting a great first impression, but I'm also, like, really dedicated to making this foundation work, at least trying it one more way, um, because, I, like, this to me is stupid. Like, I, I wanna see if there's any way that I can go about this foundation where maybe it's just, like, you know, if I do it in a different order, maybe it will work better. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe, I'm gonna, obviously just gonna remove all of this, and and then from there, I want to go through and do it in an opposite order. So I'm going to take their concealer, the Too Faced concealer. I'll still prime with my Tatcha just like I did now. Um, go in with the concealer, conceal under the eyes, and kind of map all of that out. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with some foundation and apply that to the skin and just see if maybe doing it in a reverse order makes a difference. And then from there, obviously, you know, I'll powder the under eyes. I'll stop back on and we can kind of talk about where things are sitting. But I just feel like we need to at least try this one more time in a different order and just give it a shot so so let's get that done all right you guys so we're back the makeup has been reapplied and as far as the powder goes I don't think I mentioned it in the outro but I did go in with my Fenty powder this is in the shade butter and I use this obviously like under the eyes through the t-zone and then to carve out the jaw just a little bit because you know as we all saw the shade is just like a little bit yellow so I wanted to kind of counteract it and just like start the shaping process also can anybody else hear the lawnmower outside like I'm just I'm just wondering just you know asking for a friend a friend named Paige because I swear, like, if it's not tractors, it's lawnmowers. And then if it's winter, <laughs> you have snow plows. Big snow plows, little snow plows, all the snow plows, all the snow blowers. Snow blowers are a big one, too. <laughs> it just doesn't end. Anyways, other than, you know, the powder I used and the lawnmowers outside, let's go ahead and touch now on application because I do think this time around, application was a lot smoother. Um, everything blended. I didn't have any issues with, like, patchiness, things clinging. I guess in that sense, I would recommend doing your makeup more like this, a little bit more Scott Barnes style in terms of concealer first then foundation um, again just because it made it a lot easier and everything did blend everything worked really well in that sense whether you bake on top of it if that's your thing that's all irrelevant I'm doing it just because I wanted to make sure that I could lighten up those areas but uh, as far as the application I do think that it is more advantageous to go this route I just I just I don't know I think everything blended better in general now in terms of the dry down I'm just kind of feeling around here this does have a beautiful dry down um, onto my skin there's no powder in these areas which is kind of of why I'm, I'm feeling only in that area but uh, the dry down itself feels very nice so I don't think in terms of powder you'll have to go like super aggressive but for me and how I do my makeup I do like to lightly set everywhere so I'm gonna go in with my usual this is kind of my control variable lately my Too Faced Born This Way powder this is in the shade cloud and I'm just going to ever so lightly kind of dust it over my cheek area and then also at the same time dust away any of the excess Fenty powder oh hello okay now y'all just better wait just a dog second second dog in second. <laughs> Hey, Paige, where do you live? Northern Michigan, can you tell? Uh, but seriously, y'all just better hold on. That, like, right through here, that looks really, really pretty on the skin. You see that through there? It just looks super duper pretty. Wow. Hello, red-eared woman. How you doing today? How you doing? How them strawberries going? Just good and red, good and ripe. Um, but seriously, I that looks really pretty. Uh, like, right through here, that was, like, the main area I was concerned about. All right, so at this point, you guys, I am going to break off of camera again. I know, it's, it's a lot of back and forth. But I'm going to break off and finish up the rest of my face. It's going to be a super light makeup day today um, because, obviously, we're testing out foundation, and I want as little to be in the way as possible. So I'm just going to throw on, you know, bronzer, blush, highlight, the base makeup, for God's sake, some brows. And uh, I will stop back on here when I'm all said and done. We'll do an up close and see how things are looking. So hang tight again, and I will be right back. Okay, can we just talk about how good that bronzer looks? Wait, why can I still see myself? Shouldn't this have shut? Oh, <laughs> I'm still recording. <laughs> well, hello, Paige. How you doing? <gasps> I thought I shut the camera off. I'm like, my God, I look so good. I'm like over here feeling myself in my monitor. Forgot to shut the camera off, which is why I can still see myself. The best part is I didn't even notice 
because I'm so conceited <laughs> that I was just like, oh my god, I'm feeling myself. Yes. But seriously, this Nabla bronzer, and I'm going in now with the blush in Lola. Oh my god. <laughs> So good. Lola, hello Lola. I know that's not how the song goes by the way, but like it's my own version. It's called Lola <laughs> by Paige. Lola. <laughs> well, hello brightening. Yes, KKW. Love it. I love it so much. Look at how bright my under eyes are. They're just like, hello, do you want to be my friend? And I'm over here like, yes, if your under eyes are that bright, I do. Because I mean, obviously that's the gauge to which I be people's friends to which I be people's friends. Paige, was that even English? Ooh, snatcherific, snatch a snatcherific. Okay, let's do a little Morphe spray. Mm-hmm, okay, and then let's do highlight because I can't not, okay? I cannot not do highlight. I love highlight. Ooh, I love highlight, yeah. Especially when it's the ozone shade from Nabla. <gasps> <laughs> also, I'd like you guys to know this is actually what I sound like even when the camera's off. Like you just you just don't always get to see it. I just realized I said like, oh, I'm going off of camera now. And then I left the camera rolling. So that's good. <laughs> don't forget the chalupa chin. Oh yes, bitch. Chalupa that shit. <laughs> Paige, stop it right now. All right, so here's the deal. The camera is about to auto shut off. I'm gonna let it, and I'm actually gonna leave this time, come back with brows, mascara, lips, and then we're gonna check in. All right, beautiful people, I am back. The rest of the face is on. And at this point in the game, there's really not much to touch on. I, I feel like everything applied really nicely. I haven't had any issues. Um, but of course, I did wanna stop back on anyways, just so you guys could see the up close, see how everything came together. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that up for you guys right now. So in terms of how this is looking on my skin, I'm not having anything that really jumps out um, as far as you know like patchiness or a weird wearing nothing nothing like that has really happened yet now something that I was pretty happy about that I wanted to mention right through here on both sides of my cheeks like my acne hyperpigmentation all of that area did stay nice and covered it's still a beautiful medium I would say medium to high medium coverage even a full coverage on like this cheek right here again the acne areas like right through here there's a couple little spots those are more medium high medium areas but for the most part I think everything looks really really nice in terms of coverage, which very, very grateful for. Now, in terms of my wrinkles and my crevasses, okay, we can talk about those for a second because I don't know if it shows up on camera, but on my forehead, I am noticing like my main hulk right here and then all my little hulkettes, my little mini wrinkles that are like above my brows on both sides, <laughs> probably from doing this like 400 times a day. <laughs> what can I say? It's just, I'm a very expressive person. Those little fellas are a little bit emphasized, just maybe a freckle more than I would like. Um, same thing goes for like the uh -uh, little crevassy areas around my nose also a little bit more emphasized than I would like just a freckle um, but again neither of those things are like super uncommon for me I'm, I'm pretty much used to that at this point just because that those are like things that happen on my face honestly you guys the way that I look at makeup foundation all of it as a whole um, I, I like to just remember like keep it in the back of my head like I'm 30 okay I'm a 30 year old lady okay I, I don't I don't care if I have like a wrinkle a crevasse like I, I would actually be kind of nervous if I didn't uh, because I have been expressing and like using all of these muscles okay I've been using them for 30 30 years so like I would again I'd be a little bit nervous if they didn't show up um, but you know there, there's nothing to say I'm, I'm not upset if you like you know maybe calm them down a little bit but if they happen to settle in a freckle it, it doesn't bother me so you know just something to throw out there it's not something where I'm like oh this is such a deal breaker um, because it's not bad but just something to know you know I'm not overly picky on those areas now at this point obviously I am gonna go ahead I'm gonna do the rest of my day off of camera um, I'll stop back on at the end do a final check-in and if there's anything that I need to mention during the day I'll check in for that as well well, but something that I want to mention, um, especially that I think is very relevant to this because it is a matte foundation, I am one of those people, my skin is the type of, you know, facial skin, whatever, that when I put on a matte foundation, it might look a little dry, a little bit caked down, but as I go and I like live throughout the day, my natural oils, when they start to come out of my skin and really mix in with everything, they can make a matte foundation when they combine look absolutely beautiful. So even right now, you know, it does have more of a matte appearance and it might look a little bit odd in some places, especially compared to what I'm used to. Um, I just want to throw it out there that this could easily go, you know, very bad like any other foundation, but it could, you know, kind of soften up on the skin and give me even more of a skin-like appearance and give give kind of the effect that they were talking about on their website where it just softens ever so gently. Kind of my natural oils can come out and just, just really help to calm everything down. And obviously everybody's experience is different. You know, that that's just mine. I like to throw it out there because obviously you're watching this review and you might like to know about my skin, my 
experience, how I do things. Uh, but other than that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to run off of camera and um, I will stop back on. I'll talk to you guys here at some point later on in the day. And all right, beautiful people, it is officially the end of the day. I have been wearing this foundation for, I want to say about seven-ish hours at this point. And I'm actually like, given how things started out, I'm kind of impressed. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw up the up close and we can kind of build on that. The first thing I want to touch on is the area around the mouth and the nose because out of the entire face, I do feel like those are really the only areas that I had like any real issue with. Um, I feel like the area around the mouth was just a little bit overly mattified looking. Um, and this is something that I face with a lot of other foundations. So I'm not super mad at it, but again, something to mention. And of course, the second area that I mentioned um, is the nose. And that's another one that I did have some issue with. And I just feel like more than anything, it was just movement of product and having like a little bit more slough than I would like. Now, don't get me wrong. Any issue in that area could be a face mask thing, which I, I did wear one. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but just overall, like those to me, those two areas were the main issue that I have because I feel like, you know, looking over the cheek region on both sides, I feel like that looks good. And even the forehead, I mean, truthfully, it is a little bit oily, but in terms of the actual wear after seven hours, I feel like it looks pretty good. And I was actually pretty impressed because my big old Hulk wrinkle on the top there, that one didn't really collect a lot of foundation. Like it didn't settle out super bad, which is, which is good. Um, I did notice a little bit of settling throughout the pores. And that's something else that I wanted to touch on, whether it's up on the forehead, like in the T zone right through here, or if it's down on the cheek region through here, it was all pretty consistent. Um, just with like a light amount of settling, a little bit of the foundation kind of falling into my pores, which of course does make them a little bit more noticeable. But again, for it being on for this long, like I'm not upset about it. So now that we've got the up close out of the way, there are a couple things I want to mention. Um, the first one being in terms of this being like a mattifying foundation, I know that before I left, you know, for, to go do the day and wear it and all of that, I mentioned to you guys that throughout the day, I like to let the oils come through and kind of see how that plays with this foundation. And this is in fact, one of those foundations where when you put it on, it looks very like uh, very matte on the skin. I'm not going to say hyper matte, but it does have like a nice matte appearance to it. But throughout the day, I actually feel like, I mean, at least for me personally, I feel like it did soften right through here and it actually gave a really beautiful skin like effect, which is something that they did call out on the website. So in terms of, you know, it's softening up a little bit throughout the day. If you are someone that's, you know, oily or combo leaning oily, even, I definitely think that that's something you could expect. And I think from there I can go into my last thing I wanted to mention, which is just the face mask portion. Um, it's not anything super crazy, but I did make sure when I went out, obviously I wore a mask and, um, today I went out and I wanted to wear this a couple of times. So I wore it twice and this is the mask. It started off completely white. It was, you know, clean, brand new type situation. And there really isn't for how much I wore it. There's really not much transfer on here at all. Um, and I think that I wore this, it was like, I, I wanted to make sure that I wore it far enough in the day. So that way, you know, my foundation would be moving around a little bit. So I think this was on it probably like hour six, six and a half. It was at the end of the day. I had to go out and do some things. And for me, I was actually impressed because I've put a mask on before and literally had it on like three, four or five minutes and had way more transfer than this. So for me, again, I'm not upset about it. Um, just in terms of like how long I had it on again, for those of you that are trying to gauge the first time I had it on, it was probably for like 20 ish minutes. I want to say, um, with full conversation, you know, face, facial movements, all the things. And then the second time I wore it, um, I want to say it wasn't very, very long. It was maybe like five ish minutes, something like that. Um, just cause I was trying to get the hell out of everybody else's way. But, uh, yeah, I, I wore it twice and I was impressed actually when I took it off both times, I didn't have like the lines on my face. Um, I didn't have any like real sloughing even in that area. Again, it's not like I think, oh, you know, I wore it two times once for this long. Like, it's not like I think that I wore it for very long at all, but I did wear it, like I've said, longer than other times. And when I've worn it before for only a couple of minutes, I had all the lines and all the situations. And with this one, I was at least impressed that even though I only wore it those two times, you couldn't tell, like there was no real like discernible situation. This is just so you guys know, when I put this on, okay, this isn't like a loose fitting mask. It comes up obviously all the way. It touches on the sides. And if anything, it actually has like the banding along my jawline right here. So this has several points of contact, several points where it could easily rub and kind of do its thing. And I, I mean, again, I, I'm impressed. There is a little bit of transfer. There's going to be a little bit of transfer, but in terms of, you know, what I've seen, it's not that bad. Other than like I mentioned before, of course, like up on the nose, there was a little bit of sloughing. And I definitely think that, you know, this didn't help that. And you know what? Actually, one thing before I get to my final thoughts, I was about ready to skip to 
to the end. But uh, one thing, I went when I was done, you know, filming this, I wrapped up, hey guys, I'm gonna go do my day, whatever. I went and I took a couple of pictures, just like in natural light, by a window, like it's nothing too crazy, nothing fancy. But you guys, I wanna show them to you because this foundation, both on camera, which is why I keep looking at myself, like I'm impressed as hell with how beautiful this looks on camera. But I don't know what it is, but it has like this, this foundation has a way of almost making your skin look like airbrushed or perfect. And it's so bizarre, again, because to be under these lights and have it look good is one thing, because I've got beauty lights in here, you know, ring lights, all the good things. But like to have it happen in natural light, which is, I swear, <laughs> more often the enemy than not, um, to have it happen in there was just crazy good. So guys, I really don't have much else to add. I think that I've covered pretty much everything. Actually, you know what? Wow, I'm kind of impressed. Something I like barely even noticed until right now. I'm kind of impressed right through here, you guys. I have the most, like, do you see those? I have such gnarly little smile lines. And with this foundation, it like did not settle at all. Like it's been, again, like seven, seven and a half hours at this point, And there is almost no foundation. Like there's a teeny little bit right here. But other than that, my my smile lines don't look bad at all. That's, wow, I didn't even notice that, okay. Um, that's really impressive because for me with foundation, this right here is one of the areas, this and my Hulk wrinkle, like this big old uh, that up there, those are the two areas that go like right with the nose. It's just, everything kind of breaks down. And the fact that it didn't settle in here or a lot into this is that, okay, all right, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you might you might have just redeemed yourself a little bit because that that's kind of impressive too. So yeah, I, I think with this foundation, I'm not upset. Again, I definitely think it takes some working, but I'm uh, I'm not upset. Guys, that is it. I think I've droned on enough at this point. So let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, were you thinking of picking up this foundation? Curious about it? You just wanted to know if it was good or not? Let me know everything you're thinking down below in the comments. As I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications before you leave. But most importantly, you guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, okay? Okay, did you really think, did you really think, did you really think I was gonna be done with this video that I was just gonna stop and not say it one more time? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and you know, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, all the good things. And thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. By, by the way, also should mention it was like 80 fucking degrees, okay? Did you hear me? I said it was like 80 fucking degrees today. It was so hot, okay? It was so hot. And I just feel like, you know, that's kind of matters too. Yeah, okay? Okay? Okay. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom, ba -doom.